welcome back to another week in my life. I slept with um, a nose strip. So let's go see if it really worked. So I tried out the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patch. I just like, I was about to go to bed last night and I noticed that there was like a lot of gunk. Ugh. Wow, my pores were just super dark. I don't know, do you guys want to see this? If you don't, look away. Yep, that all was in my nose. So that's really great, really great. But now it's out and that feels really good. I don't think I've ever slept in a nose strip, so definitely a vibe. It's Monday morning, eye patches are on. I spent all last night cleaning my apartment of clutter. Like look, even my entryway, there's nothing. We love that. <laughs> Went to sleep in real PJs last night. That's when you know it's gonna be a good day, right? Let's get those candles going. It's Monday. This candle is called For the Hustlers. <laughs> Feels appropriate. It smells amazing. It's Suntal and black cardamom. Then we've got this one that I just started. It's also from, they're both from the coop. This one's called After Party. And it's black, amber, tonka, and oud. Um, these two together are a great combo. Love it. Looks like it's a beautiful day in New York City. I don't see a cloud in the sky. It's time for my favorite part of the day, which is a coffee. I'm gonna drink out of my Georgia National Champions mug. I just got this and I'm so pumped. Go dogs, woof woof. On that decaf coffee grind lately, I still love the taste of coffee in the morning, but I haven't really needed the caffeine and it makes me a little jittery, so this is what we're doing. Anyways, I forgot if I said this, but welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. We've got a very exciting week ahead. Um, I'm just waiting for my coffee to brew. I'm doing my doing well daily planner of the day, um, kind of writing everything out. But a layout of this week, this vlog is only gonna go from Monday to Wednesday because we just got an exciting next few weeks. Today is Monday and recording the podcast. Brooke and I are going to a showroom after that. Then I'm going to a styling session with Danielle and Alex um, because I'm going to the Batman red carpet premiere. I'm freaking out. I teased about it in my last video, but I was just like so nervous, like something was gonna not happen, but it's happening and I'm freaking out. So I'm doing the whole thing, getting hair and makeup done, a styling session. Um, and I'm working with Danielle and Alex per a lot of people's recommendations. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to a styling session with them later today. And then I have a spray tan tonight and then tomorrow is the premiere. I will insert the video here of me telling Ryan about it because, well, I'll just show you guys. <laughs> okay, I have some news for you. So who did you used to dress up as for Halloween? Batman. Uh-huh. Do you still have your tux? Yeah. Do you want to go to a red carpet premiere for the new Batman movie? <laughs> sure. <hey. laughs> <laughs> I got invited! Hell yeah, let's do it! So yeah, Ryan is freaking out. He's so excited. I mean, he literally dressed up as Batman as a kid, like, for every year. And I think even his freshman year of college before I knew him. So he's a big Batman fan. And him and I have been getting really into those types of movies. So this is just kind of perfect. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. When I saw that email, my jaw dropped. I thought there was a mistake. I still don't understand why I'm going, but I am so excited and I'm so thankful that I get this opportunity. So obviously I want to take you guys along with. Um, so I want to do it right. I just like want to do the whole thing. So yeah, I'm doing the styling session tonight, spray tan. Tomorrow morning, um, we have hair and makeup. I have to get uh, COVID tested in the morning. Um, and it's just like a whole thing. And then I have to be ready by 3.45 tomorrow um, or even before that. So Kelly is doing my makeup and Mitchell is doing my hair and they're gonna come here to me a whole glam tube. I've never done this before where you, cause I asked Kelly, I was like, okay, like what time hair, what time makeup? She's like, no, 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 we do them in tandem. Like we're gonna do your hair and makeup at the same time. I was like, what? So nuts. So this is crazy. This is a whole different lifestyle that I'm not used to. So I'm excited to share it with you guys and see how it all goes. Um, this is not my everyday thing. Um, so yeah, so the premiere is tomorrow. And then Wednesday is Ryan and I's three year anniversary. 
so crazy. We count our anniversary as the day he asked me to be his girlfriend. So yeah, I don't know. But we started, like we met end of January and we started dating March 2nd, so. Yeah, so it's just like a really exciting week. We have some fun plans for our anniversary and then I'm stopping the vlog Wednesday night because Thursday morning, early, we are headed to Tampa. So you guys are like, you could not stay away from home. But it was kind of always the plan for when my brother was home for spring break, I was gonna go home. Um, and I'm really thankful that I get to do so and I have that flexibility. And Brian also works from home, so he's gonna come with me. We're going for a long weekend. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's like 80 and sunny there right now and we're just gonna like go on the boat and chill with the fam. I miss Finley so much. Even Ryan is like, I miss Finley. So that's a little layout of the week just because it's gonna be super hectic and you're gonna be like, where are you now? Blah. So that's why. Um, so I'm gonna end this vlog Wednesday night and then I will vlog when I am home. So. Love you guys so much. I'm gonna drink this coffee, plan the rest of my day, plan the rest of the podcast. We're having Emma, our creative director for Gals on the Go on the podcast today because we've been working with her for over three years. That's that. Welcome to another week in my life. This is not a typical week for me, but we're gonna roll with it anyways. Hi friends, we are back at this angle. I'm sorry, it's not the best. I'm just finishing up getting ready. We're headed to the Gals on the Go studio to record an episode of Gals on the Go. And then right from there, Brooke and I are heading to the Ozzy and Co. showroom, picking up some fun summer pieces for our trip um, coming soon. And then after that, I'm headed to the styling session. And then I'm coming home and we're doing the spray tan. So that's kind of the layout of the day. I just pulled out this dry bar curling wand because I didn't feel like Dyson air wrapping today because I want to listen to my music. And sometimes it's a little loud, <laughs> really random. So I'm doing this and it's actually going quite fast. I have like uh, seven more minutes to be ready and it's going quite fast I must say because my hair was already a little bit wavy when I woke up. I went to bed with damp hair and it was just this natural wave but I decided to add in a little bit of curls. So yeah it's pretty chilly outside today. Today's gonna be a good day. You guys know how Mondays go. I'll show you guys my outfit in a second. Here is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna add a jacket over top as well. I always like wearing like statement shirts when we record the podcast. So this one is from Fashion Pass. I rented it. I really, really like it. I think it's um, French Connection, the brand. Leggings or Spanx, I'll link them down below. They're so flattering, so amazing. Boots are Lucchese. We love them. Decided to break out the cowboy boots today. Gonna do my green tote bag and a coat of some sort. Let's go record. All right guys, we have Emma in the studio today. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're about to do a really fun episode. It'll be out by the time you guys are watching this, so go check it out. Guys, Emma just showed us this new cool thing she so got. Sick. Tell us about it. So it's like a, a NTC, I think, or NFC. It's not, it's not an NFC. Not an NFC. It's an NFC. <laughs> and it's like a, it's a tap. Thing and you, it, it's like a virtual business card. It's so cool, guys. Probably I literally. The worst way to explain it ever. No, that was amazing. <laughs> I literally just tapped at you guys and it showed me like her info if I want to connect with her. Amazing. So cool. Oh, She's dot. super cool. Dot. Three for $50. Yeah. <laughs> Not sponsored. That's just so cool. <laughs> just wrapped up recording. Um, the episode with Emma was amazing and then we recorded an intro and it gets really funny. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I roasted Brooke a little bit, but she allowed me. She asked no, me to. Honestly, you know what? Like, if I'm gonna do it, the podcast is a safe space. Or yeah. That's what I tell myself. So yeah, podcast fun. listeners get like even more bonus. So go listen to that episode. It's gonna be great. It was great. Now we're walking to the Ozzy and Co showroom to pick up hopefully some cute like summery, springy dresses. I need to stuff for our trip. Yeah. Up, so so it'll be hopefully. fun. We're really excited about that. And then Brooke's going to Soul Cycle tonight. Big moves. Big I know, moves. I'll live through you. It's very exciting. All right, over and out. Just got back. I'll show you guys what I got from the showroom in a second. But I'm eating my leftovers from dinner last night. I made myself. It's like spinach pasta that I got from Trader Joe's with tomato sauce. I'm about to watch another episode or at least start an episode of Inventing Anna. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'll sometimes just put on a show for 15 minutes purely so I can like eat and watch something. I don't know, so yeah, yay. I was still hungry, so I just made more broccoli. I'm like a broccoli fiend these days, but I feel like that's a good thing to be obsessed with. I literally just put olive oil, salt and pepper, but it's so yummy and I just love broccoli and I can't get enough green, so we love it. I'm gonna add this to my little meal. Well, I already ate the pasta, so now I'm eating this. All right, just uploaded all the podcast stuff to our producer and everything. 
um, FaceTime with my dad a little bit and yeah, I just changed. We're about to head over to visit Danielle and Alex. They're styling me for the Batman premiere tomorrow. I'm so excited on the edge of my seat to see what looks they pulled. We had a call last week and I just said chic, all black. Um, I like a midi dress moment or a pantsuit or a jumpsuit, something of that sort. So, and we totally vibed on the phone. So I think they kind of know the vibe I'm going for. So I'm so excited. I'm like nervous. I've never been to a true fitting like this where you go and like, I, I don't know. I'm so nervous. Like, ah. Um, but really quickly before I head out, I want to show you guys what I got from the Aussie and Co showroom. Um, so they represent a ton of brands, really cool, unique designers that I had never really heard of before. So I love that. First thing, I have this bag from the brand Serpui. Serpui? Serpui, I think that's how he said it. Um, it's beautiful, it's stunning, it's amazing for a fun um, summer, spring moment. I love this clutch. It's beautiful, it's pink, and it also does have a chain, but I think I'm just gonna hold it like this. And then, the moment, it's so amazing. We have this zebra bikini from the brand Height. And I've seen their stuff on Revolve and everything. I love their stuff, so it's this top, and these are the bottoms. So cute, obsessed. And then he pulled this, also from Height, and it's a cover-up. Like, how sick is that? That's so great for the beach. I'm so excited to take you guys along that trip. So those are the things I pulled today. I'm just borrowing, it's a showroom. They have a lot of these in the city, and I really like working with Ozzy & Co. So, very excited about that. This is what I'm gonna wear to the fitting. I figured I'm just gonna be changing anyways. So I'm just wearing this A9 Bing sweatsuit. I think I'm just gonna not bring a jacket because I'm Ubering there because it's like nighttime. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna run up and then come down. Like, I don't know. I've like been like not super cold recently either. It's really weird. I don't know. Anyways, you guys don't care, but let's go. I'm so excited. Ah! Oh my goodness, you guys, so much is happening. I'm feeling so grateful. I literally realized I didn't, well, I guess I did eat lunch. I did eat lunch, but it just, I don't know. I'm extra hungry today. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I need Chipotle. Got Chipotle. I just got my spray tan. The styling session went amazing. Danielle was so cool. Alex wasn't there today, but we had so much fun. And I'm so, I literally still, still don't know what I'm wearing. I've literally, I'm that girl that I want to hear everyone's opinion. Like at the end of the day, I will choose what's best for me and I won't be like, oh my gosh, but blah, 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 didn't like it. Like it ends up being my decision. It is really interesting. So there was this one look that I, well, I'll show you guys because why not? This one look I left being like, okay, that one's definitely ruled out. So I was in between three. So here's one. Then we have this one and this is like gloves, a cutout. It's like triangle corset vibes. And then there's this one which is obviously so fun. I left thinking that's what I was gonna go with. They said, go home, think about it, send it to your friends. Like you don't have to decide right away. We'll bring it to you tomorrow. Um, and I love this. But then I was looking at the photo she took and I was like, ooh, like I don't know if it photographs as well as I wanted. Like, cause obviously I was posing in the mirror and I knew I love this so much, but I don't know, I think, I think this one's ruled out just because I would wear this to like, a, like my birthday dinner, which is also a great thing. I love it, I just want it to be like more dramatic. We're also either gonna do these shoes or these shoes. It's kind of hard to see. I have so many people texting me about this. Or these shoes, which are also a moment. So I'm just sitting here trying to decide. They're, the stylists are being so kind, they were like, we'll bring both tomorrow, you can try them on again. Cause also I didn't have my spray tan yet and I, new i was like i feel like i'm like i just don't feel as confident especially in stuff like that especially like a black dress and my skin was very fair um i don't know it's, just, it's a purely a personal thing so when margo's facetiming me ah! okay i'm gonna answer margo is facetiming me but yeah that's what's going hi it's a lot later it's 11 24 i'm getting tired i'm drinking this is my computer sorry i'm drinking whoops, some sleepy time tea I'm like so thankful right now and I'm just like buzzing because I'm so excited but I'm getting like really worked up in a really good way but I need to kind of bring myself back to center and I think just go to bed. It's been a really awesome day but a long day in the sense that it was a lot of like uh, communicating with lots of different people and doing lots of things and just moving really fast so 
I want to bring myself back in. I'll take some essential oils. Like, my eyes just want to close right now. So I'm going to go to bed. I have to wake up pretty early tomorrow to go get COVID tested with Ryan. And then the stylists are coming at 11. They're going to bring both dresses that I'm in between tomorrow so I can try them on again, which will be really nice when I'm tan. And then glam starts at 12.30. So I'm really excited. I'm really thankful. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the morning. It feels like Christmas Eve or something. <laughs> Good morning, it's premiere day. I still have to shower off my um, spray tan, but we're gonna go get COVID tested and start the day. Ryan, big day. Big day. Step one, COVID test. We're trying to figure out what Ryan's gonna wear because we thought he'd wear a tux, but hearing rumblings of suits, but he would look so good in a tux. <laughs> so we're trying to decide what's the best. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, but I'm so excited! We're negative, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and we got juices. It's a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay, guys, it's officially premiere day. I'm about to go shower. Um, Ryan and I got some juices from the bodega. This is kale, spinach, celery, cucumber, and I an apple and then I added lemon and ginger. So good. Also just found out, I don't know why, I thought we were being served dinner there because they asked if we had allergies. Um, but I guess there's like an after party dinner but the movie doesn't end till 10. So I'm bringing snacks if they'll let me because you guys know me, I'm an eater. So I got this to eat right before we leave. It's a complete cooking, they amazing. And then I got Ryan and I a little Nutri-Grain bars and he's gonna like put them in a suit pocket hopefully and then these are just for my life ginger shots because I just ran out of all my ginger shots I made um so I need to go buy more ginger root and make more ginger but yeah that's my little haul we're gonna shower I have to do an online health screening thing I feel like this week in my life is so out of the ordinary for my normal like week in my life so I'm sorry about that but also it's exciting and fun so hope you guys are enjoying but yeah we're gonna shower Stylists are coming at 11. I asked them to bring all three dresses because I'm literally so indecisive once again and I just keep going back. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'll be sitting. So I want to like sit in the dresses and see which ones are most comfortable. So I think we're sitting in a movie theater. Mitchell Ramazan is doing my hair. Kelly is doing my makeup and they're doing it in tandem. So they're both coming at 12.30. I'm going to order us kava. And then Ryan and I are going to leave here at 3. We still don't know if Ryan's going to wear a suit or a tux. Everyone's telling us different things. So yeah, I like, I'm like, I want to see him in a tux, but also I don't want him to feel like overdressed, but they were like, it's a red carpet. Like everyone's going to be wearing outlandish awesome things. So I don't know. Just showered. My tan looks great. I want to do a face mask. Um, obviously Luke Beauty is the only way to go. Um, trying to think which one I should do. Double take. I think double takes are for, yeah, for special occasions. So I feel like it only makes sense to do this. I will link these masks below. They're so amazing. All right, so we've got dress number one here. You guys already have seen this all. She said it just fell off the hanger when she was opening my door. Um, let's see what else she brought. She brought the shoes in the bag and everything. Okay, so here are all three dresses. I had them bring all three because I just really could not decide. Um, so she brought a bag of like, more silver situation accessories, purses with um, earrings, rings. And then she sent like a gold option with these black shoes that are also gorgeous um, that she said could be interchanged between the three. I think I'm gonna try them all on again because obviously she said like when you're in glam, try them all on, but my hair kind of depends on what outfit I wear, so. I'm gonna try them on now. Um, they just sent over this document. This is like, I've literally never done this. It's so insane, I love it. Um, with like the jewelry, so we'll see. Ah! Okay, I just tried all the dresses on again and now I think I'm in between the gloves one and the simpler long sleeve. This one I think is out. I have my loops eye patches on now. We're just really getting after it. I think we decided Ryan's gonna wear his suit instead, but I feel so bad because he went and got his tux pressed and now he feels like he should wear a suit. So I said, I have like 20 minutes till they come. I'm gonna steam his suit for him. But I mean, this looks amazing on him too. I just feel bad because he like went and got his tux pressed. My queen Kelly's here. Yay. 
I'm so excited. We're going a little darker with makeup today. Yes. Very excited. Oh, the kit. The kit. The full on kit. Oh my I'm gosh, so I am so excited. Are these all lip liners? Yes, isn't this just like- Wow, this is so you. <laughs> this is just like, it literally gives me peace when I unroll that. That's so satisfying, wow. And the brush is the beautiful sponge. I ordered it. Is this the one? It's not, or, it's, or, it's or the other one's a little bit bigger, right? You bought the Ariel one, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Yes, oh, look at all that. I like love a kit moment. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Yay! Mitchell's here. Hi. Things are happening. I don't know how else to vlog. This is so cool. I have another dress. If you I know all of your angels. I literally have been sitting on my couch. I was just posting some stuff for the podcast because it went live today. It's Wednesday. And I was just trying to get a little bit of energy because all I wanted to do was sit on the camera and talk to you guys. Like, I feel like it's like the morning after a big event. We're all sitting in the living room together talking about it. I have so much to say. Last night was seriously so cool. And honestly, I was so overstimulated. Like, I don't really know what vlog clips I got. I got a lot of, like... Just quick little videos on my phone and then I forgot to turn them horizontal and I was trying to take photos and then I was like, oh wait, Danielle live in the moment. Like it was just a lot of a lot, but it obviously not complaining. I just like don't know what the footage looked like. God, that was so cool. Like that was so cool. One, the movie was outstanding. It was so amazing. It was three hours long. I highly suggest going to watch it. It was so good. Robert Pattinson was an amazing, amazing Batman. I don't even know where to start. So we got there, we got to the hotel. Well, like, Glam was so much fun. Oh my gosh, that was just such a cool experience. I, I'm so dramatic, but I literally felt like I was going to the Met Gala. Like, I couldn't really move because, like, I couldn't bend down and put on my shoes. So, like, Kelly's helping me put on my shoes. Mitchell, who was doing my hair, he's, like, putting on my gloves and my jewelry. And then Ryan came over, and then Ryan need help, needed help with his hair. And so Mitchell's like, sit down. So he's, like, helping Ryan with his hair. I think I do have a video of that. So that was really fun and then we like rushed out we hopped in the car Ate Chipotle in the car because I didn't have time to eat because they basically were like eat a big meal because there was no food being served Until after the premiere which was at like it ended at like 10 So we get there and I didn't really recognize anybody, but I made this one friend her name's Ellery She's mainly like an Instagrammer. She's so sweet Ellery Lee and then I also ran into Jonah Jonah Green who I knew from like my old YouTube days and we were like, oh my gosh, we stuck together for a lot of the night. Then they put us on these really nice shuttles and Ryan was like, I feel like I'm going on formal. It was so funny. 
we arrive at the premiere and still like meanwhile in my head all day I'm like I feel like I'm not actually going to the premiere I feel like they're doing some special influencer thing where we feel like we're there and we get to take pictures but we're not no guys this was the real freaking deal we pull out there are paparazzi on either side of the barricades. There's fans all around. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like fans for Robert Pattinson and everything. And they definitely were there for them. But we walk out. We're waiting in line. We had to like check in. We had to do like all these COVID things. And I hear someone go, Ryan! And we look over and I'm like, no way. This is for my Ryan. Like what? And Brian's like, no, Danielle. I think they're trying to get your attention. And we look over and they're like, Oh my gosh, so like this whole like barricade of people are like waving to us and I'm like, I feel so cool. So shout out you guys and actually fast forward a little bit, I got to meet those girls. There was like four of them after the premiere, um, <laughs> Ryan so graciously, I was so thirsty. Ryan went over to the like a hot dog cart before we boarded the shuttles again and got me a water bottle and the girls saw them there. So he FaceTimed me and I was just around the corner. So I like ran over and said hi to them. So shout out you guys. They were the sweetest people ever made my day. Um, so then we um, checked in. I'm doing play by play because like I feel like this is like this is what I would want to hear. So this is what I'm saying. Then we got uh, matched with a handler, I believe is what they called them. And so I knew this because I walked like the pink carpet at BeautyCon one year, um, which basically means um, because I feel like. I was always wondering, I was like, how do all these celebrities walk down, or even influencers walk down the red carpet and all the photographers know who's who and where can you find the photos after? Like I was always so confused about that. But I learned this last time where basically they gave me a ticket, like a piece of paper and it says, Danielle Carolyn, content creator and podcast host. I was like, ooh. Um, so I handed that paper to the handler and she would walk on the carpet before me and the photographer before they took a picture of me would take a picture of her paper so that when they upload it later to Getty Images or BFA or whatever um, website they're using, they can put in my name. So then later that night, I went home and I went on Getty Images and you look up Danielle Carolyn and there's the pictures of me and Ryan. So it was really, really cool. Got to walk the carpet. Um, I took some pictures alone and then I like had Brian come in and those are the ones that went on Getty. So they were good photos for sure. Um, I still like don't even know what I'm gonna post, uh, but it was so cool. Obviously they're like, Danielle here, Danielle there. They're like, I don't know who this girl is, but they were all so nice. Like they're like, oh wait, yeah, like I'll take your photo now too. I was like, okay, cool. Um, so that was probably like two minutes long. I just walk down the carpet and you would like walk a little bit and pose, walk a little bit then pose. I literally was like, what am I doing? I felt so funny. And Ryan was such a champ the whole time. He was like, he was like, should I call the dog? So <laughs> it was funny. If you went to Georgia, you know what that means. He's like FaceTiming his friends. His friends were like, what? That's nuts. So we walked to the theater and um, right before the movie started, the director came on and then they introduced the cast. And I still was like, no way the cast is actually here. They were there, it was truly the world premiere. Um, like Rob Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz, Colin Farrell. I'm forgetting like all the names right now. Um, but yeah, so it was just so cool. The whole like new Gossip Girl cast was sitting directly behind Ryan and I, like the, all, or all the guys from the new Gossip Girl cast, like the seats like literally right behind me. And then a few rows behind me, Alessa was sitting there. And then like after Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz and all them um, like said hi, enjoyed the movie. They um, just Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz got escorted and like to their seats like a few rows behind me. They were just right next to me and I was team Edward all over again. I was like, oh my God. Um, it was just so cool. It was so funny though. Like before the show started, I was just like standing because I knew we were gonna like sit for three hours. And Ryan was like, hello, hello. He kept trying to make conversation with me and I guess I was just so overstimulated. And I was like, I'm so sorry, hello. And he's like, I'm just trying to make conversation. <laughs> but I was just like, holy shit. I'm like texting my friends like, guys, this is so nuts. So yeah, and then the movie ended. It was so cool too, like during the movie when like Batman would come out, everyone would be like, wow! Or like when Zoe Kravitz would do something cool, everyone would be like, wow! Or just like when big scenes happened and like people knew the actors were in the room, we'd like cheer. That was also the other thing, like, during the movie, I'd be watching it and I'd be like, oh my gosh, that actor is in this room right now. Like, I am watching this movie with the actor. That was just nuts. I just can't get over it. I hope I get to do something like that again because it was so cool. So amazing. I loved my outfit. I don't think I did a video of my outfit right before I left, but you guys get the, the gist. My dress was House of CB. The gloves, I don't think were branded. Um, it was a Swarovski clutch 
if I said that right, Swarovski. Uh, my shoes were Renee Cav Calvillo. See, I'm not meant for this type. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, and I can't, and then they're still getting me the jewelry details. But yeah, the stylists are coming back today to pick up everything. Um, it was just so easy. They gave me all these options. I decided to go with the gloves. It just felt the most Catwoman-y. So, I think that's all the best. Oh, and then there was an after party after just for like the influencers that they invited. They were like, um, I don't know. I didn't get to go to the celebrity one. But I don't even know if there was one, to be honest. So, who knows? But, uh, we got to go to this like, they like fed us again and there was free drinks and they had these napkins that said to the Batman. And once you guys see the movie, you'll understand it. Like, it was like in the same writing. So it was just cool, it was really well branded. I'm so thankful to everyone that made this happen for me. So yeah, it was just really cool and I just had people texting me all night. It was just, I'm so thankful and I'm thankful to all, to all of you guys that hyped me up and made me feel amazing. So thank you. I'm gonna finish drinking my decaf coffee. I have so many things to respond to. I basically just like didn't go on my phone other than like posting stories. And also, <laughs> this is just like a crazy vlog. Today is Ryan and I's three year anniversary. It's also my mom's birthday, so I sent her flowers. I just wanna make sure she gets them. Ryan and I have plans tonight to go to dinner at Morandi in West Village. And then we are going to the Comedy Cellar after because that just makes sense for our relationship. Um, and then tomorrow early morning, we are headed to Tampa. So I have to pack. I have a workout today at 11.30 and then right after that I'm coming back and the stylists are come, coming and I think my rug's getting picked up as well. My white rug, like the cowhide one because it needs to be cleaned. So I'm getting that cleaned. And then I have therapy, which I'm really excited about. And then right after that I'm getting my nails done because I had to, I was supposed to get them done yesterday, I rescheduled. And then I, I don't know, I might just have to work with my hair from last night. It's kind of sticky, but I don't really know. Maybe I'll shower after the gym. Um, and I have lots of like computer work stuff to do. So, oh, and I have to pack. Hey. Whew. So, but we're doing a six o'clock dinner and an eight o'clock show so that we get home relatively early because Ryan's still gonna have to work a little. I need to pack. Anyways, this was such a, this was 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. It was needed. It was needed. Okay. So I'm gonna get down to business and I'll check in with you guys in a little. All right, my workout was actually at 10 30. I forgot she moved it today. So, got up a little faster. We'll finish everything when I'm back. Um, wearing this set from Year of Ours. The brightness is really high. This green set from Year of Ours. White Hoka sneakers, puffer. It's 45 degrees outside, it's beautiful. Um, let's head over to work out with Jane and get the day started. Oh, I, I need to bring a ginger shot to go. I actually don't know if I've taken a ginger shot in this vlog yet, so here we go. I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> Cheers. That feels great. a great start to the day and now we're heading back to get lots of things done just got back stopped at Kelly's hung out with her for a little bit and I came back and this came in the mail I literally bought this because of her I bought so much makeup because of her go follow at makeup xka she has influenced so much for me this is the morphe times Ariel um, makeup brush kicks I just am in need of like some new brushes and She's used this beauty blender on me, like from Morphe, and it feels amazing on your skin. So I'm gonna treat these well. I'm really, really excited to have just some new brushes. Um, so I'll link this down below. I got it at Ulta, and it came in like a day or two, I swear. So just thought I'd show you guys this. I, I bought this. I also just met a subscriber, shout out Julia. She literally made my entire day. She just like had all these questions and we were just chatting, and I was like, I feel like we're friends and we're just catching up, it was so fun. Um, my head still hurts, <laughs> but um, I'm about to shower. I'm not gonna wash my hair. I think this will be my hair. It's a side part kind of day. I just posted my red carpet picture. You guys are all so nice. I wanna post like another one, like highlighting the glam and everything and like where everything was from. Um, so I think I'm also gonna do that, but I also wanna post Ryan and I's anniversary. I might do that tomorrow. 
I don't know, there's like a lot going on. Or I don't have to, like he does definitely not care. Um, I'll just do like stories or something, I don't really know. Um, that's the weird thing about being in a relationship that's public, it's like, oh my gosh, like they didn't post for Valentine's Day, like are they still dating? Like I feel like I have to post, it's our anniversary, because otherwise people are gonna be like, wait, are they not together? I mean obviously not because I just posted our red carpet picture, but that's like where my mind goes. So I try to only post when it's like, oh, I, I like this, like I wanna share, I know Ryan would be like comfortable with it. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I am going to take a body shower and then I have about an hour before I have therapy, so I'm gonna try and pack as much as I can for Florida. And then we have our nails, and I think I'm just gonna do bright orange nails for Florida. I think that'll be fun. That's what's going on around here. The stylist um, just sent a messenger and they took all the clothes. Boom, done. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, I don't get to keep the clothes. You like pay the stylist a set amount and they kind of source everything for you. They already have a lot in their closet. Like, I just found out you guys, the shoes I was wearing last night were like a lot of money and I had no idea they're Renee Cavillo. They were so cute and everyone at the premiere was like, I love those Renee's. I'm like, okay, what are these shoes? So thank you, Danielle and Alex, for fitting me up. Um, yeah, I'm just rambling. Doing laundry before the trip. Just put on a little sweat set. The rug guys are coming soon to pick up this. About to hop on to therapy. Oh my gosh, I love therapy. This is my weekly reminder to go to therapy or seek out a therapist. You can use BetterHelp or any of those amazing platforms. Um, and sometimes your first therapist won't be the best for you, but I just, fill out my candles. I just feel like this huge weight is released off, released off my chest and I never feel guilty about you know, ranting or having to be like, how was your day? Like I still do that in the beginning. I'm like, how's your week going? And she's like, Danielle, we'll talk about this another time. Like, let's just talk about you. So I don't know. If you ever feel guilty about ranting to people, highly suggest getting a therapist. And it's like different topics each week. Like today, there was like certain things I want to talk about. Um, and other days it's different. So I'm gonna run. We're going to Mickey Nails. Gonna do the orange. Um, I'm excited to see her and chat and catch up. I'm gonna eat this complete cookie on my way. Uh, got the laundry still going. It's gonna be a good day. All right guys, I just got ready for Ryan and I's evening. Um, so I was able to salvage my hair from yesterday. I really didn't want to have to wash it again. So I just like brushed out the hairspray because that he had like slicked it back. Um, and I think I did a pretty good job. I took my air wrap and just did the front pieces. Um, but yeah, here is the fit. I'm wearing this little midi dress moment. I will link it below if I can find it. It's from Revolve. Hoop earrings. And then I'm wearing these black boots from Vince Camuto. I'm just so obsessed with this midi dress and black and um, tall boots situation for winter. And then I'm just bringing um, my like faux leather puffer jacket for warmth. But it's not super cold today. So Ryan will be here any minute. And we're gonna go to Mirandi, Mirandi for dinner and then Comedy Cellar. And then come back here and rush to get ready. But here's the fit, date night, yay! We're a same side couple tonight. I like this booth, this is cute. This restaurant is so, I know, it's a great view. Hello, New York. Just finished dinner, heading Comedy cellar on the West Village and walking here. What a week, you guys. <laughs> I am just feeling so beyond, so beyond grateful. Thank you guys so much. Um, we just got back from the Comedy Cellar. Mirandi was amazing for dinner. The hostess has been watching my videos since she was 12 years old. So shout out Natalie, I think was her name. Also shout out Kayla. I met her on my on our walk from dinner to Comedy Cellar. Um, and she's on a show called 4400 on CW. So go watch that. What else? Oh my god, and then I met subscribers at Comedy Cellar and she was like, I'm not surprised to see you here. Um, it was just like a lot of subscribers today. Like I met one earlier too. It's just, you guys are so, you guys are everywhere. And I love it, it makes me so happy. Um, and Ryan like always loves it too. We just had such a lovely night. We always do this thing on our anniversary where we talk about a rose, a bud, and a thorn. We do it literally every year on our anniversary. So rose is something awesome from the year, our relationship-wise. 
but or thorn is something bad or like whatever like highs and lows and then bud is like something you look forward to for the coming year i don't know he came up with it our first year and so yeah we did it again today which was really fun so yeah i have so much to do this is so unlike me to like pack this last minute i just really having a moment but i'm literally going home um so i'm just gonna pack like bathing suits and like maybe workout gear maybe i'll hop on the peloton i really should because i want to get back into spin but yeah i'm just gonna put on the rest of the bachelor that i haven't finished and pack and we have to wake up at like 3 30 in the morning tomorrow because we did there have to i don't know if i already said this i think i said because ryan work we have to fly early or fly late and i want to fly early so yeah stay tuned for a florida vlog i get to see finley literally in less than 24 hours finley's my golden doodle puppy if you guys didn't know well he's a little bit over a year old now but i miss him so bad and i can't wait to see him so that's the end of this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed what a crazy week not all my weeks are like this um but thank you guys for following me along and being so freaking supportive along the way so love you guys stay tuned for another vlog very soon and i'll see you guys then bye